Hey guys, it's a tan man here doing my love and welcome back to another episode of NFL Predictions. Last week I did week 10 and today we'll be doing week 11, but before we get into that, let's recap week 10, man. This was such an exciting week. Um, I didn't do that well in my predictions. I went 6 out of 13, but that doesn't really matter because this was such an excellent week of football. We It began on Thursday with the Raiders getting a nice division win against the Chargers. Could be one of the last primetime games in Oakland. We had Lamar Jackson showing off against Cincinnati. We had the Browns, Titans, and Dolphins all get upset wins. Man, that Titans-Chiefs game was insane. The Battle of New York was great. Steelers' defense looks really good. The NFC games were great. We had a high-scoring one here with Kyle Murray and crew against the Buccaneers. The Bears get back on track. This Panthers-Packers game was fantastic with the snow. The Saints get an upset win in two primetime games. Really great. I love this Vikings-Cowboys game, and that Seattle-San Francisco game was fantastic. So let's go to Week 11. Speaking of primetime, Thursday night, Steelers-Browns. Both teams, I feel like this is a must-win. If the Browns want to try again to the playoffs, they need to win this game, and for Steelers to stay on track, they need to win this as well. I'm going with Pittsburgh. Um, their defense is playing really great. TJ Watt, Minka Fitzpatrick, Bud Dupree, these guys are playing fantastic. I know their offense isn't anything spectacular, but it gets the job done, and I think they're going to shut down Cleveland here. The Browns did win, but their offense really struggled in the red zone. I think the Steelers are going to take advantage, advantage of that and get a pretty nice win. We have another division game. Nick Foles, I think, comes back this game. Oh, yeah, he is starting with the Jaguars. I don't know about Jacoby Brissett and his deal. I feel like I'm going to go with the Colts, though. Um, I think it's going to take a week or two for Nick Foles to kind of get back here as he was out a couple of weeks. So I think Indy will win. We have another division game, Bills and Dolphins. Dolphins are a two-game winning streak. I'm going to give them their third win in a row. And for me, the reason I'm doing this is Buffalo's looked okay the past couple of weeks. And division games, you just never know. You Like the Falcons got the upset of the Saints. Who would have thought of that? I think that's going to be kind of this division upset game. Man, I am super excited for this Texans-Ravens game. You have Deshaun Watson playing fantastic against Lamar Jackson, who's playing like an MVP. I'm going for Baltimore. Um, I just think that the Ravens' offense is at a level where no one can stop them. I think this game will be super entertaining, but I have Baltimore getting the win. Um, the Bengals, I think, are going to get the 10th loss here. The Raiders look really good, and I think they have a shot of winning the AFC West. Speaking of the AFC West, that's a Monday night game in Mexico, Chiefs-Chargers. I honestly don't know who to go here. One of the reasons the Chargers lost is their offensive line had difficulty containing Oakland. But the Chiefs' defense is okay. I'm actually going to go with Kansas City. I think Patrick Mahomes and the offense will get it done in Mexico and kind of get back on track here. We have three AFC versus NFC games. Jets, Redskins, both teams not doing that well. And Battle of Young QB, Sam Darnold against Dwayne Haskins. Oh, uh, yes, Dwayne Haskins is starting the rest of the season. And for me personally, I'm going to go with the Jets. Um, I think that um, their defense was good last week against the Giants. Jamal Adams was really great. And I just like Sam Darnold a bit more than Dwayne Haskins. I trust him more. And I think the Jets will get their third win of the season. Broncos and Vikings here. I'm going to go Minnesota. I think the Vikings are one of the best NFC teams. Kirk Cousins is playing really well. Dalvin Cook is playing fantastic. I like Denver's defense, but I don't know if they'll be able to hold Minnesota. I think the Vikings get a win here. Super Bowl rematch, Patriots-Eagles. Man, I'm going to go with the Eagles. This is kind of my upset of the week. Um, for me, the reason I'm choosing Philly is they've been able to beat teams in huge games when they shouldn't. They beat the Packers in Lambeau earlier this season, and then they beat the Bills in Buffalo. Two really great teams. I just think they'll pull it off again. I think the energy at Philadelphia, that team's going to be really going nuts. I think they're going to get a win. If the Patriots win, it wouldn't surprise me, but that's kind of my second upset of the week, I guess you could say, along with the Miami game. NFC game, Saints-Tampa Bay. This game is really interesting, and I think this game is going to be really telling of the Saints. Was that Atlanta game just kind of a fluke, or are they actually not as good as we thought? I think that game was just kind of a fluke. I think the Saints will win a high-scoring game. Um, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin went against Michael Thomas and Alvin Kamara. Should be really fun to watch. I think the Saints get the win. Cowboys-Lions. Lions on a two-game losing streak. I think that stops. I think that they've been really close in their games, and I think they're going to be able to put it together 
and beat the Cowboys. Um, Dallas is playing really well, but we saw Ezekiel Elliott not do that well against the Vikings. And, you know, Dak Prescott did play well against Minnesota, but when you have a secondary like Darius Slayton, those guys, I think the Lions will win. Um, next up here, Atlanta, Carolina. I think that the Panthers are going to kind of get a win here, kind of put the Falcons back into their place. Um, Carolina did lose to Green Bay, but for me, Kyle Allen played really well in that game, and Chris McCaffrey, I think, is just going to go off against a really poor Atlanta defense. In the NFC West battle here, the Cardinals and Niners. I'm going to go with the Niners. I think this game will be close because they played each other two weeks ago when it was Arizona almost won, but I think San Francisco is going to win. I think that they're one of the best teams, if not the best team in the NFC. That defense, um, especially the D-line, I think is just going to get after Kyle Murray. And then the Bears and the Rams here in Los Angeles for Sunday night. A very interesting matchup. I think this is kind of two teams who have not lived up to expectations. And two quarterbacks who have not played that great. Mitchell Trubisky and Jared Goff both have played kind of eh. I'm going to go with the Rams. I like their defense a bit more and I... Trust Sean McVay a bit more than I do Matt Nagy, but I think it'll be a very interesting game. And by the way, the teams with bye weeks are the Seattle Seahawks, the Green Bay Packers, the Tennessee Titans, and the New York Giants. So let me guys uh, let you know your thoughts in the comments below who's going to win. I'll see you guys next time. This is my Bye-bye.